brothers, mothers, come on. You and me, henceforth shall be. All the 192 member states of the United Nations have decided that the entire world shall all be beating the drum and in so doing, breaking the silence of slavery. Yet every day, I become more and more afraid to say black or lesbian or immigrant. The transatlantic slave trade seems like a remote period in history, and yet the facts bear out that slavery exists in the world today, even in this country. Remembrance is a good thing. Remembrance is a powerful thing. And in remembering, maybe we'll understand that we need to continue to reform and be better. This is mine, fight fused with flight, blood bound by hope. Slavery is not only a problem, it's also a symptom. It means that some people's lives are perceived as having less value than others. It's our fight and privilege to represent those whose voices are less heard. So whether they were less heard 400 years ago or less heard today, it's somewhat irrelevant. There are plenty of people today whose voices are not given as much respect as other people who have been born into privilege. Is my soul gonna sell us tomorrow? Yes, yes, yes. The commemoration for this year, in 2009, is not about lamenting what happened over centuries. It's more about victory over adversity, the great struggle of humankind over something that was so terrible, so unjust. This struggle will not end until and unless we are all sure that this is not going to be repeated again. This is why member states in the United Nations are so energized, are so happy with this event taking place, and we are so grateful that Culture Project can do this with us. The Culture Project is an arts organization that focuses on human rights, social justice, and tries to use the resources of culture to transform some of the ailments that we have in our civilization. We feel that we can add a cultural component to the diplomatic efforts that the UN employs. Won't you help to sing? Oh, had I the ability, I would pour out these songs of freedom. That's all I ever had. Yeah. I will never rest till I have effected the complete abolition of the slave trade. Redemption songs. Sing along with me, you and Sing along with me, you and the culture project, it was a question of taking our work to the world stage and to be able to resonate with a world hungry for change and hungry for art. Suddenly she's laughing and somehow healed inside. Every musician wants to sing at the UN, right? Art for change instead of politics. You know, I think the room needs it. Come on now, come on now. I didn't really have a voice, and today I walk into the General Assembly and I'm standing on stage with people who, have, who just to me are amazing, and I realize that the power of music and the power of art and the power of dance gives me the ability to communicate a message that's bigger than I could have ever imagined. From the moment that the event began, with Whoopi Goldberg, her charging on stage and saying, May I just say, it is a thrill to be in this room. I think it set the tone for the audience for the entire evening. And then bringing on the original copy of the Emancipation Proclamation and having her read that so thoughtfully, with so much understanding 
and so much reflection on what those words actually meant at that time and what it means to us today. What designated part of a state shall be then, thence forward and forever free. It was so flabbergastingly fulfilling. I think people really anticipated that they were going to be in for a very, very special evening. There were so many highlights to hear Stacey Ann Chin explode in the General Assembly Hall. I know there are people that just wept when they heard what she had to say. The dykes who were feminists, the anti-racists who believe gay rights activists. Felicia Rashad, I think I will remember as poetry the one tear that followed the line of her cheek as she recited these extraordinarily heartfelt words from August Wilson. I'll show you my June book. I was so proud of what we were able to rally in terms of the generosity and imagination of the artists that participated. What an important effort to demonstrate how culture and the appreciation of other people's culture is a basis for agreement among nations. It's just the fact that when you have this amount of people together, the power gives each one of us in our own individual lives the knowledge that anything is possible, the inspiration. It's lifting our whole human race onto the next level slowly. All these types of events, just the power is totally incredible. I think this is one of the greatest days of my life, I'm serious. <laughs>